Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Let's see some latest updates coming in from the camp of Black Stars players. Yes, some piece of good news from Tariq Nilamte. We will talk about him also. Thomas Pate and Ghana Black Princess is there for so touchdown in um, Guinea Bissau to play against them tomorrow. Then we will also look at Ghanaian players. Before we delve into the details, in the time join us, please don't forget to like the video. After that, if you are new, subscribe to this channel, put on the post notifications so that anytime we drop a latest update, you'll be the first person to get and enjoy i know this weekend so you are enjoying some of the black stars players their performances and their matches yes let's continue to watch them and um follow them so that we will appreciate how they are doing for their various clubs now let's jump into it quickly and begin from the camp of Tariq nilamte there is a piece of good news for him because he has been voted for as the man of the match in the last game for his club side brighton and hove Abbey. you know ghanaian players recently they are playing very 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 well um, i'll also talk about kudos by Tariq. He is now back and doing very well. The last game that Brighton played against Olympic Doma still in the UEFA um, you know, competition, they did well. And the player, Tarek Lamte, has won the man of the match from Brighton. This is a good one. In fact, after the post, Tarek, he got 48%. The second player was Pascal Gross, who also had 42% in this one. Joe Vettman and Jan Paul Van Heke was also part of them. So yes, Tarek Lamte, he is doing well. If you actually follow that game against Marcel, so the first game he actually virtually he created a chance you know he moved from the left back position dribble in before he laid a pass and um it followed up to the goal um and also helped them to get a penalty that actually brought the game to 2-2 against olympic drummer so, so Tariq, he is doing well and that is a good one he's back to the black star squad to face america and usa this particular man's and that is that quickly on thomas party the good news is that party is also back to the pitch to play for arsenal the last game that arsenal played against arsenal Lons in the uefa um you know Champions League game the player was available even though the coach did not use him in that game and according to the coach this is what he said yesterday in the pre-match conference you know this weekend there is a big game Arsenal they will face Manchester City so yes they need Pate in the game this is what the coach Mikel Arteta said on Pate's return well he's ahead of schedule that's for sure we wanted to have him in the squad if we needed to the way the game um, panned out we had another necessities and we didn't use him he will be in the squad tomorrow that is what he said in the presser so yes he has confirmed that the last game he didn't use party because of how the game panned out but this time around he has him and he is going to um, you know he's going to play because if you have party in the midfield and you will not play him and play Kai Havertz, I don't know what Arsenal really wants. So yes, that is it on party now. Ghana Black Princess team. Before then, Kudus Mame, he also spoke yesterday. He didn't speak a lot of uh, other stuff, you know. He was talking just about um, his favorite artist, that is Stone Boy. He was highlighting top five songs from Stone Boy that he actually loves. And West Ham, they put it on their official Twitter account. And many were in the comment box saying that give him a start, start him in the games. Always you'll be hyping him, but in the EPL games, you'll not start him. Well, as I have, we have been saying, going forward, um, Kudus, he will get into the starting 11. In that game, we saw Kudus, the last game for um, West Ham, also check. Kudus, Berama, Bowen. These play, uh, four players, if they're able to start for, um, you know, West Ham, is going to be really tough. Their next game is going to be against Newcastle, inform Newcastle. But I know Kudus, tomorrow, he will do the job. So that is it. Now, before I talk about some few fixtures, um, let me talk about Ghana Black Princesses. They have landed in Guinea to play against Guinea-Bissau. There is going to be a good one. The journey to Colombia next year is now on. This is um, the Under-20 Women's World Cup qualifies the first round. Ghana, we are going to play against Guinea-Bissau. This is the first league tomorrow, 4 p.m. I'll bring you the highlights, everything you need to know on this channel. Then they will come and play re reverse fixture the next week in Ghana here. So just stick and stay with me for all the updates. As they went there, they've done already some few um you know training sessions and others today they will have the official training session in guinea bissau ahead of the game tomorrow so that is it on the ghana black princesses today we have some ghanaian players who will be playing in the epl and also english championship others will also be playing in the other leagues across the globe fatal isahaku the boy is really improving and he was in action for leicester city in the english championship game leicester city they won once again and they are in a poor position if they keep it so to qualify back to the english premier league fatai saku started and played 85 minutes and he got a rating 
of 7.2 recently his performance has been really really great and he has been starting games for leicester city this is a good one after his loan spell even the club can decide to actually purchase him for the epl season next year so yes after eight five minutes the player um he had one shot on target one shot was also off target he attempted four dribblings none was successful though 60 touches in the game he gave four um, um key passes in the game he gave 38 out of 42 passes which is 90 percent completed crosses he made seven none was successful though but he sent four long balls three were accurate ground was he went in for seven and did not win any but got a rating of 7.2 for Tai Saku, he's really doing well for leicester city now a key player for them they continue to lead the english um you know championship and that is a good one come out sulemana was on the other hand in action for Southampton. he also started the game but did not last the entire duration but um, he was substituted on the 63rd minutes also got a rating of 7.5 before he left the game he was really doing fantastic job for them after 63 minutes he had one, um, two shots on target no shot off target though 56 touches in the game giving 37 out of 41 passes that is 90 percent he gave one key pass in the game and kamal din sulemana was really a ton in the flesh of the players on the field yes yeah, so Southampton, unfortunately they also um left off their lead to come and draw that is to um one one in the game against Rotherham united in the english championship so come out then and Fatawi Sahaku are doing some great job. Antoine Semenyon was also not in action as his club side AFC Bournemouth. They were humbled by Everton in that EPL game. So just to can stay with me, I'll be bringing you more updates on this channel. Let me give a shout out to these amazing guys before I take leave of you. Shout outs going out to um, Daniel Ahim. Thank you for being here. I've seen you. Barak says 365 is also here. Danby Chris, you are also here as well. Thank you for being here. Kwam Law, you are also here. I appreciate you. Then I have um, Kalamula Adams. Thank you for being here. Um, Fianco Joseph, you also on this channel. Jetro Boatin, thank you for being here. Imano Boatin is also here. Then I have Christian Nuokbo, thank you. Prince Kofi is also on this channel. Um, then I have who again? Okay, okay, let me move on. Azuma Obed, you are also here. Um, Kojodeos, you are also here. I've seen you. Then I have Baba Oja Aki with the thumbs up. Mbaku, Mbaku, thank you for being here. Brotaku is also here. AJ Maxwell, you have been here always. Thank you, AJ Maxwell. I appreciate you. Beatrice Yabua, thank you for commenting. I've seen you. I also have Joshua Lamte here on this channel. Bryce Tricky, you are also here. Fekwe Courage is here. Um, Patrick AJ is also on this channel. Richard Jometi, you are also here. Too Loud EAPC is present. Livingston Amenuku, thank you for being here. Um, I have Obresi DK, Agbame Scopito TV, Ken or okay, KX Engine 2088. Thank you for being here. Desmond Ajobu, you are also here as well. Then I have seen Apple 918. Thank you. I've seen you. Um, Iman Amani is present. Iman um, Ebenezer Apia is here. Albert Free the Youth, you are also free in the youth. Um, Abena Jima is here. Um, then I have Asana John. Thank you for being here. Um, Sam Tuga, or the name is Tuga, he is also here. Felicia Jedua is here. Um, let me finish. Oh, okay. Henry MP is here. Aganka Lawrence, you are also here. Then I have Joseph Wogomibu. Okay, Joseph Wogomibu. Thank you. Blue View Capital is also present. GM Enoch is here. Seth Joseph is here. Fenton Daniel is present. Nathaniel Guda is here. Rufai Abdullah is present. Um, then um, I have Samuel Tegu also here. Wow, wow, wow. Dominic Chumesi is here. And Moses Awinab. Awinab. Okay, Moses Awinab. Thank you for being here. I appreciate all of you. Sometimes I need to be doing this for you guys. So let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates on this channel. This is Kenny TV. And of course, we shall meet later.